Thank you. Today we have with us Dr. Hubert De Silva. Dr. Much introduction is needed because he is the backbone, one of the backbones of the homeopathy or IFPH. He is regularly updating the YouTube videos, all the programs. He is a MSc Psychology, BHMS. He is running his own clinic at Trivandrum, Kerala, India. 35 years of experience, one of the moderators of IFPH. And the topic is Management of Neurological Disorders, Somipadi Part 7. So on behalf of IFPH, and welcome Dr. Hubert De Silva. You can have the part four for the next 40 minutes. It's over to you. Thank you, Dr. Manus. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, okay. Today, we are passing. Yesterday, we passed our yoga day. And today we are reaching the next day. How to make our life more beautiful. So, uh, let me share my screen. First, uh, 1 Luke 22, uh, verse 60. Peter replied, man, I don't know what you are talking about. Just have as he was speaking, the rooster glowed. The Lord turned and looked straight at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word that the Lord had spoken to him. Before the rooster crows today, you will disown me three times. This is from the scripture. Jesus told that before the crows Uh, rooster crows today. You will disown me three times. He knows how many times he will disown and when the crow rooster crows. In while we are going to Mahabharata, the 11th chapter while seeing Arjuna, he has many confusion what to do. That time, Lord Krishna showed him his Almighty, what the uh, what is Almighty. And he could see that inside the mouth of Lord Krishna, everything, they all died. They were all died. The, person who are, he is going to war with them, they are all almost already died. Dead people are there inside his mouth. <laughs> he asked Krishna, hey, these are all these warriors are already dead. Yes, this is in future. You can see the future. In future time, they all will be dead. Some persons are in this world. They know everything, what will come, what will be the future, what will be the past, and what will be the present. But we people only know the present. And we know also the past. We can remember the past. But what is man? Everything is, we can see that from the scriptures and Bhagavad Gita, we can see that all these things are, or pre-prepared. Pre the program is completed. Whenever we come to this world, that time our whole story, the future of our life will be returned itself. But in between that time, we are living. Everybody have a, the, as Hanuman says, the highest purpose of our existence. We know that. What is the highest purpose of our existence? We are came to this world for a purpose. For a noble process. But we, are, we don't know how to manage the things. We cannot see the future. Even though we say one person who is a very intelligent person, very bright person, he has got many, many, many things in this world. Even though he don't know 
what will be the next five minutes will happen. We cannot say what will happen the next minute. If even though we are sitting here, when the uh, electricity gone, everything will be in a different condition. Yesterday we know that one of our doctor came to this platform and he could not even per per perform half an hour. We lost. That is our condition. So let us go to what what is we or what we are and what to do. What are the things are happening inside the uh, brain and our brain? What is this is the most uh, magnificent thing. We cannot imagine what is the caliber and what is the quality and everything about our mind. Even though we have some experiences, we have some studies. When we are studying about mind or our brain, this one of a, an exam uh, test, electrodes are fitting our head and recording the wave. We know that there are functional differences, functional disorders will come to our mind. We are giving much importance to functional disorders because only we homeopaths are giving much studies about, I think that much studies and we can manage most of the cases in functional disorders of mind. One of the tests, when we have any disturbances of our mind, even a shock, even a hit, may change everything in a different way. I got on girl, a patient, a few years back. The case was sent from here to the uh, All India Institute of Medical Science. Her quarter areas of brain is white in color. And she's come, uh, she got, every time she gets bits. But within two, three weeks medicines, these are all completed. That girl was the uh, All India Institute of Medical Science doctor said that they had to pay 8 lakh rupees for the operation. After the operation, she is a 25 year old girl. After the operation, she may lose sometimes uh, only 50% chances for a life. And there is chances for a, uh, even though she is uh, uh, overcome the uh, the, the dangerous condition, she may have some sort of paralysis or anything will happen. But she cured last time, it was in 19, uh, I think that it was in 18, 2018. That time, they told that 10 years only, she, she may have only 10 years life the most. But she now after giving our medicines, arnica, calcarea floor, calcarea carb and everything, she is living and she, she got married and she is living a normal life now. No, uh, all these conditions, neurological conditions. So let us go. These are all in not in our hands, but we have to do something if there is any happening. If there is an accident, we know that in old ages, most common thing is accidents. We may falling several times. Dangerous condition. We cannot. Uh, we will not. Uh, we cannot understand that when we fell. That time we can go a few things about. What is uh, the electroencephalogram? We have to the one of the um, uh, teaching material for us to study the electroencephalogram is a recording of brain activity during this painless test. Small sensors are attached to the skull to pick up 
the electrical signals produced by the brain these signals are recorded by a machine and looked at by a doctor mainly there are these are the waves we can see there different frequencies various frequencies of waves when we are reading the brain that time delta wave very slow going waves theta wave that is quite speedy alpha waves the uh, we can see the or uh, uh, the changes and beta wave speedy waves and gamma waves the waves theta beta wave deep sleep in our deep sleep condition the delta wave that is very uh the amplitude is high we can see that 3 to 5 hertz is the in deep sleep in sleeping normal sleeping that time the waves will be 4 to 7 hertz and during the time of awake that time the alpha waves that is 82 8 to 13 hertz then beta waves that is 14 to 30 hertz then last i show you gamma waves very active conditions those who are very active in their life their waves are working very speedily the waves will go our brain will work function more the work will in those who are getting they are doing wonderful jobs they will have the gamma waves the reef the waves will be more and more above 30 this is our uh, let us uh, go to this condition we are all in the, always we are passing all these waves throughout our life but we are not aware of it what uh, what is happening inside our brain but these are the conditions we are to, uh, all the times in our 24 hours and our life long throughout the life we are passing all these now which frequency is best for brain one question 6 hertz beat enhances all area of the brain within 10 minutes 8 hertz and 25 beats hertz beats has no clearly responses while 40 hertz beats enhances the responses in frontal lobe these brain responses can be used for brain modulation application to induce the brain activity in future studies what is happening while we are yesterday we passed the yoga uh, uh international yoga day it was an important day because the day yesterday was the day of yoga as well as the day of music two important the imba day have two important uh, celebrations what is happening in music while practicing music or in activity the alertness the cortisol body temperature melatonin all are having some differences and their activities may be while we are in practicing music or in activity which one is more making us we can see that while doing yoga we are making our body we are reducing our uh, body in a low wave condition the speed of the wave will be lessened 
while we are doing a work we are, i told you that the gamma gamma waves that is above 30 we are doing some work suppose we are doing some work but a yoga practitioner could you do with minimum uh, um, uh, waves or the slow waves. With the slow waves, he can do more work. He is in a ease condition. That is what we are making in uh, taking medicines also. When, what is the difference between a medicine and a food? And we are taking food. The food will absorb our body. Immediately it will absorb. There will be no, uh, sometimes maybe there is a primary reaction and second reaction, in, uh, like coffee and everything you see. Otherwise, the food, when we are taking food, it is absorbing, normally absorbing and taking to the different parts of the body. While taking a medicine, what is the difference? We know that primary action and second reaction. What is primary action? The body working against the activity of the the medicine is always against the bodily function. While we are taking some poison, that time our body will produce the antiperistaltic movement and it will reject the the foreign particle. That is also happening in while we are taking the medicine. The medicine, the body is itself acting against the medicine. That is a poisonous to our body. But whenever this happening, the body is where, while our body is agitating, that time we will produce some hormones and different changes are happening in our body. It may give our body to resist the things. That is what we are in using in our theory of homeopathic medicine. These are the some of the conditions. Functional disorders. These are our, while we are going through our aging process. These are the conditions, these are the conditions we may face. Seizure-like episodes, movement problems, problems with cognitive function, cognitive means thinking process, dizziness, speech difficulties such as sudden onset of stuttering or trouble speaking, problems with vision and hearing or hearing, pain including chronic migraine, extreme slowness and fatigue, numbness or inability to sense touch. We may also feel all these things in our day day to day life, but it is increasing. Normally, after the thirty five years of age, all these complaints will come to each and every person in small um, small amount or in much more amount. Seizure like episodes, movement problems, our bodily activities will reduce in speed. Problems with co cognitive function. Some people, but whenever a person is practicing and using his brain in its normal way, it's the proper way, he may get his memory will be increased. I have seen many people having much memory while they are going aging and aging. But some when we are not using, why? This memory is losing. What is the reason? Memory loss, losses. If we are keeping a thing in proper position in our home, everything in order, that time we can easily find out where it is. When we are thinking uh, to take something, we can know that it is, ah, it is here in the cupboard. So that we can take it. This is also, a, we can see in our mind, in its functional condition, whenever we are storing the things in a proper way, proper places in our brain, it will come normally. 
easily we can retain it. But whenever it is not doing it, then it will be in a confused state. Wherever we are keeping everything in here and there, we cannot remember where it is. That is one of the... Then speech difficulties. Speech difficulties. Uh, we know that uh, fluttering of voice and our... Uh, why we are practicing when we know that one of our uh, great singer H. Das, he is practicing, regularly practicing from his childhood. So his voice is very much sharp. And his voice is shaped. He can produce any. That is, a, that is why. That is where, what we can see that a regular classical training of music, they can they can use their voice clear and the coordination of our brain and the external parts will be in a normal condition. The coordination will be good. If the coordination is lost, that time we know that these are the functional disorders we can see as long as like problems with vision and hearing. Vision and hearing. Seeing. We know that. Our eyes. While we are checking our eyes, we can see that it is. Our eyes are always the clear and everything are always seeing all the time when we are focusing things, that time all changes and movements are coming inside our eyes. Proper caring of eyes, proper caring, care of hearing, ear, ears, these are all things we have to keep. Then pain, including chronic migraine. A few days back, the girl came to this, uh, to my clinic, and she's having severe headache. Severe headache. Normally, I used to treat her and I give medicine for her. But uh, that time, I show you this, that uh, her, uh, last time I show you her uh, CT scan here, she's having uh, small, small clots in her brain. That is why she is having severe headache. That time I gave her uh, both throats, 200. And there, mere, within few hours, complaints are reduced and within a few days, she is okay. But we can, yeah, I am using that medicine very rarely. I am using both throats. That uh, before that I gave her Oramet and uh, some medicines for to restore. This time I gave her Botros and Calcarea Flor. These are the two medicines I used. She having problems after the taking the taking the COVID uh, vaccination. And now numbness, uh, extreme slowness, and fatigue. What we are doing while giving these medicines, homeopathic medicines, whenever we are giving for medicines which are producing slowness and fatigue, if uh, we are using uh, uh, arsenic alb, our body will agitate against the arsenic alb. Each and every time we are giving that medicine, the body will agitate against the medicine. That time our power will be increased and our per potential will be more. That is what is happening while taking the medicine. And that, next is numbness of or inability to sense touch. These are the conditions. This may be caused by the weak circulation or lack of nutrition to the different parts of our body. If the if uh, when we can uh, we can see in taking the uh, in hypothyroidism, this are also we can see 
in when the heart is functioning less the uh, rhythm heart rhythm is lessen or the pressure of the blood is lessen this are uh, produce the numbness or inability to sense to touch symptoms are that are associated with function dissociative seizures may include eye closure during the episode side to side head movement pelvic thrusting prolonged attacks hyperventilation shaking all over the body with awareness these are the conditions and nowadays i think that children the their birth rates are <laughs> reducing patients are decreasing because nobody want children so the coming children to our clinics are reducing in numbers i think that most of the doctors can see it is it it so we have to give more importance to give the old people <laughs> okay same terms that are associated with function dissociative seizures may these are some in old age conditions eye closure during the episodes side to side head movement pelvic thrusting prolonged attacks hyperventilation shaking all over the body these are sometimes some seizure conditions in the brain seizures so if somebody coming to our clinic we should not neglect it we should give much importance trauma another thing sudden brief involuntary twitching or jerking of muscles or group of muscles involuntary muscle contractions that cause slow repetitive movements or abnormal postures dystonia problems with walking gait posture or balance muscle spasm stiffness tics leg and arm weakness or paralysis these are the conditions in weakness of the motor and central nervous system so if there is any problem in the but i want to say one thing i want to show you one thing neurological disorders allopathic doctors studying the, uh, i told you that diseases blood brain barrier and reach the brain in a significant amount for the pharmacological effect in the brain we know that blood blood brain barrier they are now thinking about medicines that go the through the blood brain barrier most of the allopathic medicines cannot they can reach the area so they are now planning for nano medicine it is already hanuman found out <laughs> it to 200 and 25 years back he had given us medicines but they are now nano medicines these are need for development and strategies that improve the efficacy of drugs and circumvent bbb one of the promising approaches in the use of different types of nano scale materials these nano based drugs have the ability to increase the therapeutic effect reduce toxicity exhibit good stability target delivery and drug loading capacity different types of shapes of nano materials have been widely used for the treatment of neurological disorders including quantum dots dendrimers metallic nanoparticles polymeric nanoparticles 
carbon nano tubes liposomes and uh, so they are now they have to study what <laughs> we are always using this medicine in our day to day life so nano medicine our homeopathic medicine is how it is acting now this is a replay for them that our homeopathic medicine you now come to our homeopathic medicine and our system and you study our bacteria medica then you can go through the nano medicine which is our great dr samuel hanneman invented 225 years back we are simply using all these medicines daily <laughs> we don't know the power of medicine with a single dose of medicine and uh, and uh, excellent doctors not me i am not talking about me excellent doctors are using this on single dose of medicine they can cure wonderful they are making wonderful experiences so this is what i want to say and let us go to the let us go to back because i taken this because if uh, if there is a time loss then i can i cannot share this to you these diseases are considered incurable diseases they are calling it as incurable diseases because no specific therapies are available to cross the blood brain barrier yesterday at the day before yesterday one girl came she had some problem psychological problem and she was uh, in a depressed condition very depressed condition and i took almost 2 hours in the night time she was crying 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 and uh, many problems she is working in a government uh, government uh, job she is holding a government job and she has some uh, she's uh, some uh, suspicion about her uh, on her husband that she is some some having some illegal relation but it is uh, no, i know that him that he is a very nice person he he is very much worried about her his uh, wife's condition and he called me that she is always crying i i, I have no peace that time she came before that time and she was crying 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 and at the time the last i gave her she is paining her uh, she is holding her chest and she could not go further that time i gave on dose of what medicine what will be the medicine gelsemia or not three drops within a few minutes 10 15 minutes she is almost normal she laughed and at last they were all happy and at that time her husband came and they uh, yesterday also she called me and i gave her medicines some medicines agnesia and uh, Caliphos. I gave her Caliphos and some medicine for for relaxation. Uh, for to get. I I, I usually give Nexomica and Hyoscyamus for relaxation. Uh, it may give sleeping disorders. We can manage with sleeping disorders. Uh, last within two uh, hours, she was very happy and she got. that is what our medicines affect then let us go to back another condition i told you that acute spinal cord injury this is very common i think that any time it may it may happen to anybody one girl one lady came to my clinic a few years back she had an accident and she lost uh, her uh, paralysis uh, of the uh, lower extremities both uh, under the 
pelvic cavity, pelvic region. She uh, uh, told me that doctor, I have only one thing you have to do. I cannot pass stool. Very difficult to pass. I have to take it with my hands. That is the difficulty. Other things I am not considering. This is my fate. She had an accident, bike accident. Very, uh, her husband holding her hand and uh, came to my clinic. And she told me that you give me, you please help me to make it normal. Uh, normal, not uh, without taking it by manual way. Please help me. First, in some times, some treatment will be very much helpful. I told her, as suddenly you, uh, uh, you have to take in the morning four glasses of water at once. Not take, immediately take four glasses of water. And I gave medicine. But after the second visit, she told me that after taking, immediately taking four glasses of water, the abdomen evacuated without manual management. How? We just think about on bench having five persons are sitting in a bench. The capacity of the bench is five person. If one person coming immediately and pushing the five person and sitting that the extreme end of the area person will be pushed out. That is a mechanical theory. Simple mechanism. Simple physics. Immediately drink the water means inside the stomach, we know that the abdomen gases are pushing the water directly the effect will go to the so treatment also became in uh, constipation and paralysis today also i one care person came to for his uh, having a, an accident and uh, Severe accident, I had a severe accident and he saw uh, the, to this thing. Spinal cord injury. Then, uh, lateral sclerosis attacks here, Bell's palsy, brain tumors, cerebral aneurysm, epilepsy, and seizures. Now, we are going to various neurological disorders. Parkinson's disease. The exact reason, now, one reason is they are saying that that is a product, loss of production of dopamine. That is one of the reasons for Parkinson's disease. Epilepsy, stroke, amylotrophic lateral sclerosis, Huntington's disease, multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's disease, these are neurological disorders, 
epilepsy epilepsy caused by sudden excessive and disorderly electrical discharges of the brain which are the medicines he could have also i just going to our medical part some of the medicines we are using phosphorus phosphorus irritates inflames and degenerates mucous membranes irritates inflames serous membranes inflames spinal cord and nerves causing paralysis destroys bone especially with the lower jaw and tibia this organizes the blood causing fatty degeneration of blood vessels and every tissue and organ of the body thus gives rise to hemorrhages and hematogenous jaundice produces picture of destructive metabolism causes uh, in other conditions great lowness of spirits easily vexed fearfulness as if some something were creeping out of every corner clairvoyant state great tendency to start over sensitive to external impressions loss of memory paralysis of the insane ecstasy dread of death when alone <coughs> brain feels tired insanity and an exaggerated idea of one's own importance hypersensitive indifferent vertigo of the aged after rising in old ages we know that phosphorus is a wonderful medicine and the other five medicines five forces we can use and side issue five forces what in uh, this conditions what, what they are planning to do the allopathic medicine says that the, they are planning to do the to reduce the speed of the development of the disease then other medicine bufurana rimachuli senail old age coming old age epileptic uh, symptoms convulsive seizures occurs during sleep at night these are other, other medicine anacardia we know that mind anacardia mind weakness of memory impaired memory absent mindedness and very helpful medicine five forces i told you that five forces we can use at any time in any patients to improve their capacity another med uh, another medicine is phosphoric acid it is an important medicine phosphoric medicine acid and these are the main medicines now i think that the time is almost over i'm stopping here i am not an expert so don't ask confusing questions <laughs> only ask simple questions otherwise there are so many people are sitting here they are watching they are <laughs> genius persons are sitting they will answer you that i shall try to <laughs> okay thank you very much thank you dr gilbert for this uh, brushing up the our memories 30 40 years back and very interesting on at the same time the, the it's at a strong point of homeopathy because you mentioned about this blood brain barrier 
I think there are two kinds of barrier. One is the natural birth and barrier. And the second one is the barrier they gained after studying the MBBS course. <laughs> they will not accept anything new or different from the, what they have studied. That is the most dangerous thing. Anyway, that's a important one. Then you mentioned about the what is the FND? The voice is not clear. Functional disorder. Functional. Yes, yes. Yeah. Functional disorder. And that's also very important. Uh, then about the old aging problem, just a minute. Any if you would also like to participate in the discussion, please raise your hand. You can share your own views and or you can ask some questions, Dr. Hubert. Yes, please. Dr. Hubert? Yes. What about the treatment possibilities in case of this old age, you mentioned about seizures, uh, so the cognition problems, the dizziness, the speech difficulties. This quite often happens and nobody is exempted from this. What about the prospects of a homeopathy aspect there? We, have, we can do much things. Because uh, the reason we have to find out what is the reason for the condition. If uh, one is having loss of memory, we know that uh, after an accident, some some people may can cannot remember the uh, the, uh, most of the uh, after the accident they cannot remember the things of that uh, contemporary things or uh, in different types of memory losses we, we, we can see yes. that, yes. that is yes. incidental yes, of that, uh, be before that accident they could not find okay. don't forget about Nathosal, the Secuta these are wonderful medicines that will help us then again you mentioned an important thing that IFP is doing Regularly refreshing, then connecting with everyone, talking and thinking, actually participating. Definitely, that is why I invite all of you to participate. You are brain. I think that uh, Dr. Uh, Rampar is the only Dr. Gambar what is your uh, uh, Thank you, Peter. thank you, Dr. Manojji, and congratulations. Our dear doctor, Hubert Bishalwa. Thank you, sir. Very nice, very nice presentation. Neurological problem. Neurological problem. 3D. 3D. Blood brain barrier. Blood brain barrier. Very nice. Okay. Air con noise sheet. In air sheet, treatment of homeopathic medicine. Kindly describe air con noise sheet. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Now the question is from Dr. Lata. Addiction to addiction of mobile usage. What is the management? Dr. Hubert De Silva. Yes. Okay, okay. That's a, in uh, mobile using, now it is a, the, an important thing that in children, they don't know how to talk. That is the most important thing. Most of the children are not talking. Visual, uh, pro, they are all, uh, because of their parents are giving mobiles to their children. They're uh, in this uh, time, the, during the time of uh, two to four uh, four years, the talking they if they have uh, in the previous time in big families, 15, 10, 15 people are talking and hearing children everything. In the family joint families, they are all talking uh, talking, so they get many things within. Few, few days, but now their parents are not talking. They are always keeping their mobiles, and the children, how can they will understand? 
ठीक है दे कैन नॉट टॉक टॉक दे विल नॉट टॉक दैट टाइम दे विल टेल विशल ऑटिसम या दे कॉल इट एस विशल ऑटिसम इज इट विशल ऑटिसम नो इट इज नॉट विशल ऑटिसम दे डोंट हैव द एक्सपीरियंस of talking and they don't know what they are talking because their parents are not talking from the our family where they will get from where where they will study but now that our childhood life that time in our joint families within two two years two three years they talk very fluently malayalam or english or hindi now the we have to make the we have to avoid giving them mobile that is the addiction we should not give and uh, nowadays i think that dr uh, manoj said uh, a few years back that uh, in sri jitra doctors are saying that the complaints are coming most of the cases of children are all using mobile yes but the problem is that who has got the The, the morality or the ability because they are all addicted the, the previous generation is addicted to television now the new new generation are addicted to mobile phone that's the problem no no <laughs> but in, uh, in mobile in uh, that uh -huh. time they, they are they in they are say, they were seeing that uh, uh, serials there are stories they are talking but yes. nowadays it is not in the uh, mobile they are only uh, looking the cartoons yes the communication communication skill is in danger another question yeah. from ram barwes sir an arachnoidist treat homeopathy medicine arachnoidist <laughs> for homeopathic medicine i think that uh, any cyst can be treated with calcarea carb and calcarea flour okay. it is yes. the first medicine yes and uh, the other medicines now i think that uh, thiocyamina yeah. thiocyamina thiocyamina mm. and uh, magnesia uh, macfos okay now dr surya is background of sorry background of tuberculosis it's called podid arconoid cyst <laughs> intercurrent medicine bacillum and tuberculin and Puja is the best medicine and tumor cyst. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, India, please unmute. Yeah. Doctor yeah, Surya, doctor. Please unmute. Yeah, uh, doctor. I want to ask you a question, doctor. My husband had a stroke one year before, and he had intoxication feeling. Not vertigo. Not pain. Not loss of memory. Nothing. Just like a drunkard. that feeling yeah any any medicine you be yeah uh, i it's used to give sitting in uh, somewhere and closing his eyes then it's okay when uh, when he opens the, his eyes he he got that intoxication feeling and so that he can move and talk can you tell what me is the you? reason uh, i feel that there is no, he, had, uh, in... he had stroke multiple strokes on hypothalamus area yeah. one year before yeah the condition which is uh, i think that because of blood circulation and proper uh, oxygenation and proper nutrition is not uh, supplied in that area okay that is why this intoxication is okay sir but i want some medicines medicines uh, these are uh, i uh, i shall say that i use spigelia cactus carbovates china calcarea flour this is a five so medicine for some, this medicine i gave already gave carbovigit carbovigit uh, and pygelia pygelia okay. cactus 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 grandiflora grandiflora oh, no doctor i already give all this only china not give up only china uh, uh, last time masuna padike doctor told me to give opium zorobatri and botrof zorobatri from today only botrof, i said yeah. that yeah it is helpful it is helpful uh, to calcarea flour uh, which potency not calcarea for carbovigit carbovigit no no calcarea flour you have to give calcarea flour 
in uh, mother uh, in lower potencies as well as in higher potency on up okay calcarea floor or carbovage you said yeah yeah carbovage and calcarea floor these are the medicines i uh, okay. i am using okay. many cases i had treated yes. many cases of stroke okay. and dr. all are surya are... don't worry please dr surya please contact the supreme court office ispail said sir now it's time for final the session okay okay may thank I, you may may dr sarit also part of thank you tanesh in some netop yes please dr tanesh Yes, uh, good evening, Dr. Hibbert and all. It's really a very excellent session, though, even though I couldn't attend the only last part of the same. I, as usual, you have uh, beautifully presented the same. And that's why so much of questions are coming in your presentations now. So that itself is the beauty. Uh, uh, only those who uh, really uh, attended the session can ask such questions. We appreciate you for your, your excellent uh, effort. to bring homeopathy to higher level and uh, thank you uh, dr hibbert on uh, on my personal behalf as well as on behalf of international forum for promoting homeopathy thank you thank you, thank you. yes of thank course you. this is one of the strong strong holds of homeopathy strength of homeopathy because as dr hibbert described the blood brain barrier the allopathy medicine are not able to pierce or penetrate through their barrier and the homeopathic medicine is the lone medicine which is capable of proved medicines for doing that the remark will be concluded today cyclic edition hope you that will be back again tomorrow till then goodbye and all of us shaila to continue the program in malayalam thank you